from handcuffs to a prison cell, from behind the four walls into an unfamiliar community that you've once known. Re-entering the community after imprisonment can be complex for former prisoners as well as their family. Some inmates struggle behind bars, so I can only imagine what they may face upon re-entering society. No shelter, no job, no money, and sometimes very well may mean no clothing. And for those trying to change for the better, a constant no can become quite frustrating. Terrence, AKA Meaty Brown, um, is a very loyal, loyal to a fault, um, very good guy. Um, I've known him all my life. Basically, he stayed around the corner from me. Um, very, very family oriented. Um, loves his mama to death, takes care of his mama. Um, sister, brothers, got a host of brothers, family member, and lots of friends that really care for him. I, ain't, I never had to deal with fees though, because like, once I went down, like, it was like when I went down to do my time, I was always, I was blessed, God blessed me with a strong support system and everything, my family and everything, and some, and some loyal guys that I grew up with, so they always took care of any fees I had right off the back, so I never had to deal with none of those issues. A lot of us Ohioans are not aware of the pay-to-stay fees that are charged to local jails to people while they are incarcerated. In Ohio alone, 74 counties, 40 of the 74 counties charge people for their incarceration through booking fees, daily fees, or both. Ohio also bills up to $66 a day to be in jail. The pay-to-stay fees are reported to the collection agency, so they will appear on credit reports. This, this, as we know it, will not help with employment. That, that's the problem. Like, once you be released from jail, like, they always look at your background, and that's what they judge you off of. So, like, I was just, like, recently I was just in the halfway house. I was just released from the halfway house. But while you was in the halfway house, they usually tell you they're going to find jobs for you and everything. And they, and they hold it over your head. If, they don't, if you don't find a job you would go back to prison. So I had got a job, but it was like, it wasn't really like a good job. It was like, just like some real like under the table job, like real low pay, the work was lousy, everything. Like I really didn't like it. So I had an opportunity to get a good job as of last week. I went in for a first interview, it went well. They called me in for a second interview. We, me and the supervisor, we were going through all the questions and everything. And right before she put me through to go to training, like, she go back and she say something about, I seen that you had felony ones, like, what was that about? So I really didn't want to tell her, like, like the most severe one, the most craziest one that was on my record at the time, like, when I was in prison in 08. So I was like, felonious assault, because my first one was attempted murder. But I already know, you say attempted murder, off the top, that's a red flag, don't nobody want to hire, nobody got murder or attempted murder on their record. So I said, Flunnies and Salt, thinking I'm going to dumb it down some. When I said that, she flipped the folder clothes. Like, she was like, I was going to hire you and everything, but I can't even go further through with this because you're a felon. I'm like, but there's other felons working here. She's like, it's nothing else to talk about. It's just like that. It just kicked me out. I believe everybody deserves a second chance. Like, just like I said, like, you know, just because we did something in the past, they don't, that don't mean, like, that don't, that don't determine who we are today. Like, your past don't determine, like, who you are today or you were, what your future holds, though. So you really shouldn't just judge nobody off of their past, though, because for real, like, they might be a, a great person, but because you're going off their criminal background and everything, like, that's, that's not the right thing to do.